Hello, strong people. I don't want to call this a prediction video because there's just really no good way to do predictions when there's 60, you know, 60, give or take in your class and you just don't know everybody. Anything can happen when there's that many people. So instead, what I'm going to do is just go over my my goals for this show for Strongman Corporation Nationals 2023. So my overall goal Two goals, really. They kind of go hand in hand. Do better than last year, where I pretty much zeroed two events, and then qualify for the Arnold, the Arnold Amateur. So to qualify for the Arnold, just to let you guys know, if you're unfamiliar, you got to be, we, they take top three plus the top 20% after that top three. So it boils down to like the top three plus 10 or 11. So you need to be top 13 or 14, depending on how, what our final number of competitors is, to qualify for the Arnold Amateur. Is it possible? Sure. Why not? Let's see. But I think I'm going to need a, a close to perfect performance. No slip-ups. As long as I can do what I did in training or better, I think there's a shot. Why not? But we'll go event by event now. So event one is the max weight sandbag toss to 16 feet. Ooh. Coming into uh, this prep, I was expecting this to be my worst event, and it's still probably going to be, but I feel like I've improved it quite a bit. So ugh, it's tough to say. I think there's going to be a lot of people out between 40, 45, and 50 pounds. I think there will be some at 55. There's going to be a few at 60. I think we'll even see a 70-pound bag. I think there's a couple people who can do that. Not me, but, you know, a couple people. My goal is the 50-pound bag. I would be okay with 45. I won't be mad about 45 at all. But I think 50 is doable. I've cleared 50 over 15 feet without hitting the bar multiple times now. And a little bit of hype on game day, you know, fully, fully fed, fully um, replenished, fully, you know, done deloading as fresh as I can be. 50 pounds, I think, is doable. So I don't think that'll be near the top. Maybe upper, upper third, upper quarter, maybe. It's really hard to tell. There's really no way of knowing how good everybody else is at throwing. And with 16 feet, that's, you know, that's pretty tall. 15 feet is pretty typical for most competitions, but this is nationals. It's not most competitions. So moving on to event two, the log press for reps in 60 seconds. So there's a heavy log and a light log. Any amount of reps on the heavy log trumps the light log. So you could do 10 reps on the 285 log. And if someone does one rep on the 345, they beat you which is exactly how it should be. But I didn't train for the 285 at all. I'm aiming for that 345 for sure. If I hit five, that'd be a perfect day for me. I think five would be a perfect day. Four, I'd be very happy with. I'd be happy with three. I would be, if I got three, I'd be like, mm, I could have done more probably. But it all depends on how I feel that day. So I think the winner will get seven or eight. Maybe. We'll see. Seven or eight's crazy with a 345 log, in my opinion, in 60 seconds especially. You know, you see like Giants Live or World's Strongest Man, they'll use a 320, 330-pound log, and they give them 75 seconds, and you're seeing them get, you know, I think 9, 10 might be the record for that, for those events. So if somebody does nine reps with 345 in 60 seconds, good for them because that's probably world-class. But I'm aiming for, you know, three to five. Uh, let's see. What's next? Stones. So four stones. 300-pound stone is 10 feet away. 325 is eight feet away. 350, six feet. And 375 is going to be at the yoke. We carry them. We load them over a 48-inch yoke. Slightly lower than what it is in most competitions. Usually it's 52 inches load height for men's. But no tacky allowed. I'm confident up to the 350, 
my last run boosted my confidence quite a bit going to that event. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. I'm not, I'm not as um, worried about it as I was, but you know, it's hard to tell because we don't even know what stones we're using yet. And my biggest fear, I don't even want to say it's a fear because it's really whatever. If they do it, they do it. I, I have no control. Is they remove that event and replace it with something else. That would suck, but we'd all have to deal with it. So whatever. Strongest guy is still going to win at the end of the day. I'm, but anyway, I think four, all four stones is a good goal for me. Any reps past that, awesome. If I can get 375 for reps, that's huge. I don't think there's going to be many people repping out that 375. Maybe a few. I know there's some monsters. They can definitely rep it out. But I'd be surprised. I think at the absolute top is going to be four or five reps with the 375. And then that maybe, maybe. But I think the biggest challenge at that event was getting the tacky towel right. There's no tacky allowed. You know, you got to find what works to stick to the stones. So I think we got that down there the last couple weeks. And um, that boosted my confidence quite a bit. But that's the end of day one. Moving on to day two. We got the max trap bar deadlift, the Kabuki trap bar deadlift, to be exact. Um, my setup slightly different than Kabuki, obviously. Uh, the handles on this one on my Rogue bar are like um, I think they're twenty five inches apart. The Kabuki is twenty seven inches. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because some of these narrower trap bars for big dudes are not easy to get into. Because you know we're pulling if the bars here we're pulling into ourselves. So we're fighting against our own body just to pull the weight. So 27 inches might even be better. And then I think this setup I used is like a quarter of an inch higher. Maybe quarter of an inch. It was like 13 at the bottom of the handles. And we're pulling at 1275. So you know, quarter of an inch, give or take, if my measurement was perfect. Mid nines, mid 900s is what I'd be happy with. I want a thousand, obviously, but if it's not there, it's not there. I'm not gonna, you know. If, if you're near the thousand pound mark in this event and like you're super, un, like your last set was a grinder, your last rep was a grinder, like RP nine and a half, it's probably not worth going for that next, you know, 44 kilo or not 40, 20 kilo jump. Because at that point, there's probably only going to be a few people left and you're probably fighting for one or two extra points. And I understand that one or two points can make or break the show for you, but with there being close to 60 people, there's a lot of other points out there. So who knows? Maybe, maybe 900 is a good stopping point. Maybe 950 is a good stopping point. If there's, you know, quite a few people left and I'm still feeling good at that mid 900s level, let's go for it. Why not? But I think anything mid nines, I'd be okay with. And it's last man standing, which I like a lot more than three attempts in this scenario. Not a huge fan of the three attempt method. Like if you're going and you start feeling better as you go, let's see what you can do. So mid nines I'm happy with. Uh, next event, yoke wheelbarrow. This one's kind of a weird one. I love yoke and I love carries like that. So I think the 850 yoke is an 850 yoke into 630 something. Uh, wheelbarrow, it's kind of tough because it's all one implement. So whatever's on the yoke, the wheelbarrow is like 70, 80% of that or something. We don't know what it looks like yet, so it's hard to tell. But I believe it. someone said it was three feet long on the handle side and then nine feet long on the side with the wheels for the wheelbarrow. So it's supposed to be 50 feet down and back. But if there's three feet jutting out in front of the yoke, then technically the first run's 47 feet. So then you're at 47 feet, and then if there's nine feet on the other side, then you know subtract nine feet from that. What's that? 38. So then 38 feet on the run back. So you're not doing a full 50 feet either way. Of course, that depends on if they're counting it to the end of the handles, the end of the um, the wheels. We don't know yet. We don't know what it looks like. We'll find out in the rules meeting. Sub 20 seconds will be great. But if the runs are that short on each side, then 15 seconds, 16 seconds, who knows? I think I could be up near the top in this event. I'm not slow. 
I'm not as fast as I think as other people, obviously, you know. I've been beat on these events plenty of times. But I think between 16 and 20 seconds would be okay. It's hard to tell, really, but pretty happy with how Yoke went in training. Very happy with how Wheelbarrow went. It was weird adjusting to a wheelbarrow over like farmers or a frame. So I think we're good now, though. I'm just excited to see the equipment and get it, get my hands on it. Final event, power stairs. Eh. I just want to finish all four stairs. Four stairs, three stairs. Three stairs, three implements. I want to finish every stair, every implement. That's my goal. Finish the event. Because honestly, I don't want to end my last event not at the top of that power stairs um, implement. Because that's just not cool. That's not fun. A little more confident in power stairs after last week. I was very confident on the lightweights, moving fast. Uh, as I got to the heavier weights, slowed down a lot. But I was able to you know, finish close to that third power stair implement at, uh, last week. So adrenaline, game day. Who knows? Maybe I finish in a decent time. I have no idea what to think for this event because I've never seen it in person. I've seen it on shows, but all, you know, all power stair implements are so different. It's tough to tell. I'll have to go back and check the Arnold last year, or I guess it was technically earlier this year, just to see uh, what times were, what weights were, just to kind of compare. Not that that'd be a good comparison anyway. You know, I just like to look at numbers. So, I don't know. That's every event. Uh, I think the big thing that I need to look at here is staying away from ties. Because ties can hurt you bad on these on some of these events. I think there's going to be a lot of ties on the um, sandbag toss. I think there's going to be some ties on the log. Stones, I don't think there's going to be ties because they're taking split times for everything. I mean, it can happen. It's happened before. Uh Trap bar, probably going to be some ties. Definitely going to be some ties. Uh, yoke, wheelbarrow, chance of a tie, unlikely with it being, you know, a timed event. And then power stairs, pretty sure there's a, pretty sure each step is timed. So probably nothing there. So there's a chance for a couple ties, but staying on the upper end of those ties is what you need. But I don't know what else to say. I'm just excited to go do it. This last two weeks is always the roughest part. But I will see you guys in the next video because I still have like two more days of, you know, some light work until nationals. But I'll see you then.